Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to take advantage of symmetry in an optical simulation to dramatically reduce the simulation time and memory. This is relevant for Lumerical's optical solvers, FTT solutions, and mode solutions. Whenever there is a plane of symmetry in the electromagnetic fields through the middle of a simulation region, we can take advantage of symmetry. And there's no reason to not do this because we can reduce the simulation volume and simulation time by factors of 2, 4, or 8 while getting exactly the same results. For the figure on the right here, I'm using symmetry in both the x and the y directions. And my actual simulation region is only the black portion, which is a quarter of the size of the original simulation. In FDT solutions or mode solutions, symmetry is actually specified on the boundary conditions. For example, here I have the x min and the y min boundaries as anti-symmetric and symmetric. This means that my simulation region will be reduced by a factor of 2 in each direction, and the result will be as if I'm using PML on all the boundaries. One important thing to remember is that both the geometry and the source need to have the same symmetry. For example, in this figure on the right, the structure is symmetric in both the x and y dimensions, but the source is at an angle, so it's not actually symmetric in the x direction. This means that I cannot apply symmetry for the x boundaries. The correct settings here will be to remove the symmetry along the x direction while still taking advantage of symmetry along y to reduce the simulation time by a total factor of 2. There are two types of symmetry we can apply at the boundaries. The symmetric boundaries, which are in blue, and the anti-symmetric boundaries, which are in green. This is because the electric and magnetic fields must obey certain symmetry rules, and we have to choose the correct type based on the symmetry of the fields. Symmetry boundary conditions are implemented by forcing the appropriate field components to zero. The figure on the right side here shows the non-zero field components for the two types of boundaries. As you can see here, for symmetric boundaries on the left, the electric field is parallel uh, to the boundaries, while the magnetic field, which is in green here, is perpendicular to the boundary. The opposite case applies for the anti-symmetric boundaries, which are in green. Uh, here the electric field is actually perpendicular to the boundary and the magnetic field is parallel to the boundary. So let's see what this looks like in FDTD solutions. So the easiest way to determine the type of symmetric boundary to use is by looking at the electric field polarization of the source. And that's indicated by the blue arrow. So in this case the blue arrow is pointing perpendicular to the X boundaries. Uh, on the left and the right, and is parallel to the y boundaries on the top and bottom. So what I want to do is go to the boundary tab of the FDTD simulation region, and I'm going to choose anti-symmetric for x and symmetric for y. And here you can see that my blue boundary line uh, lines up with a source, while my green boundary runs it perpendicular to the source. And here the computation is only going to be carried out in the black portion of the simulation region. But the results will be exactly as if I'm using, um, uh, the result will be exactly as if it was done for the entire simulation. For periodic structures, we need to use periodic boundaries. In this case, we can still apply symmetry by selecting allow symmetry on all boundaries and selecting the min and the max boundary conditions to both be symmetric or anti-symmetric. So here settings A and B are completely equivalent. The only exception is that settings B will run in a quarter of the time. And in addition to reducing the simulation time, symmetry can also be very useful for removing modes with undesired polarizations. This is a trick that we use very often for cavity and resonator simulations, for band structure analysis, or modal analysis of waveguides and fibers. Often we're interested in a specific mode with a specific polarization, and here we can use symmetry to automatically remove any modes that do not satisfy the right polarization conditions. For more information on how to set symmetry boundary conditions, as well as some examples that take advantage of this, please visit the following links on our website. 
And if you have any technical questions, please feel free to contact support at lumerical.com. And from our website, you can also download a free 30-day trial of any of our products and see how they can address your simulation needs.